I I am pretty sure you know what this part of the video is. This is just your spoiler your warning. If you are gonna watch the episode, now's your time. This is your only clip or picture you get to see of the episode. Have fun in this freaking episode. I really loved it, so enjoy it. It's now that the spoiler warning's over with. The episode starts off with King saying, "Loose, I'm so glad I had you as a big sister." And then Luce is like, "No, King." The door closes. You see King in the distance. She tries reopening it to go back to the boiling aisles. They all, uh, one of them starts crying. I forgot. I forgot who. Oh no, Gus does. Sorry. <laughs> uh, then the water. If you don't remember, uh, I already did the thing on King's Tide. I've been doing editing this for a while, probably. Anyways, that don't matter. It ends off right. It's, I mean, not the ends off. Starts off right how season two, episode. 22 left off, which is King's Tide for you newbies. L. Anyways. Yeah. I also just want to say I love how they put Hootie on the door. The best thing they could have done, as you know, Hootie's my favorite character. Anyways, we see Luce in the scene apologizing to her mom, saying, I didn't want to stay there. And then she was like, and then Camila was like, aka Luce's mom, just for you newbies out there. Uh, she was like, it's okay, you're home now. And then Luce was like, yeah, mom. But they're not. Bro, could you sh Sorry. But yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. So, and it's a sad scene. Also, we see Luce's dad, which his name is Manny. Bro, then we get this huge time skip, all right? Like, we get this time skip montage. It's really cool. I'm, I sadly can't play the music uh, because of my audio ruining it because of what I did. So I'm sorry about that, but uh, it's Limity Studios, all these cute images, I guess, of Amity and Luce. Uh, <laughs> they admit their bye, then all the clones of Gus. Uh, <laughs> Flapjack is digging holes. That's going to be important later on in my little breakdown video here. She, they're drawing the parents, and I like how Amity leaves at Odalia. The possum comes through their plan. G Gus and the will of them dress up in the flat. I like how Hunter does Flapjack's thing and all that, blah, blah, blah. V's new appearance gets revealed in the time skip little montage. And the witch hunters of Greyfield, and you see Hunter, Caleb, and Philip, like, in Bellos, is all of their forms appear in one, kind of, uh, and Hunter sucks at cutting hair. And then Hunter changes like really big with his haircut. And uh, he looks pretty different. Now the poor, and I like how Gus is about to throw it. Like just completely throw it. Basically recaps in my episode. And yeah, this is actually weird. I love this episode so much. Uh, then they make that little mug cake. Then this is a apparently a cute scene everyone says, so I'm just gonna say too. Luz shows Amity that the rain is not boiling, so it doesn't hurt them. So they dance in the rain, and the animation gets fancier. Hunter and Gus get all this mud on the on the heads. Then, oh well, takes a picture, but she has a green strip of hair. If y'all didn't notice, they all have longer hair too. And yeah, this is um a really cool scene. And then we see uh, Luce drawing all these things in her journal. She tries doing it. It's Ida King. I don't think Cootie's in there. Then she goes to the school bus where it says Happy Halloween. And then tie door card. And here we are. Uh, they Luce is at school. This teacher's explaining a story about the hero. How it was probably really the villain or something like that, blah, blah, blah. And then she has, like, a mental breakdown, it feels like. And I'm just saying it's a mental breakdown. It's not really a mental breakdown. But she's like, she will say I lose everybody he loves. <laughs> and stuff like that. So, like, he's fighting for nothing. So, yeah, it's kind of emotional. It's not emotional at all. Why am I saying it's emotional? It's just there, kind of. She's just mad that uh, people got wrecked. 
and now it's she thinks it's her fault, and she's putting it all on her that Amity, Willow, Gus, Hunter, and all the Powers men and everything are uh, in the human room now. Now, guys, they go to a Halloween festival later on in the episode, everything else is probably not- Oh no! So yeah, remember those holes Flapchat was digging? Yeah, they are actually useful. Apparently, he was looking for something. We find something important in a box. This is important for the thing I was about to say. Uh, there's a Rubus in that box. And what a Rubus is, well, we learn it later on in the episode. It's apparently just, like, images that kind of tell words. And we're not even in the... Like, Flapjack has been looking for it, and that's what Hunter asks. Like, Flap, is this what you've been looking for? And it's like, bro, just let us get on with the stuff I want to talk about. But, like... Yeah, so they are excited and they're gonna surprise Luce with them finding Titan's blood, because yeah, that's what it leads to. Spoiler alert, that's what it leads to. Stuff I really want to get on about. So they go to the Haunted Hayride, and then they learn stuff about these two brothers named Philip Winnabean and Caleb Winnabean. Which, if you don't know, Caleb's Hunter and Philip is Bellos. You should know that by now, by how am I? They were both little brothers. Caleb's the older one, and Hunter was the younger... I mean, wait, no. Philip was the younger one. Uh, Hunter, wait, Caleb was the older. So, yeah, they went along. And if you notice here, Flapjack... Because they were witch hunters, by the way. Flapjack appears in this, which is crazy, bro. And then... I forgot her name. Edelyn, I think. Edelyn. Instead of Edelyn. Uh, Evelyn, I mean. Evelyn. And then, yeah, Flapjack apparently was given by Evelyn. So, I'm thinking stuff, and we see Flap. Bellows went on to be a witch hunter, as we know. Obviously. Easy plot, we know. And things, like, a lot of things are happening. But, she says that was all just a theory. Uh, again, no, was a film theory. Thanks for watching. Okay. But yeah, enough with the references. But yeah. That's what that that's kind of what that's about. All that witch hunter stuff. Then Hunter pulls loose and tells Flapjack to get the Rubus aggressively. That's really mean. And the reason is cuz Hunter thinks he saw Bellos again. Shocker. <laughs> again. Yeah, you guys don't get to know the other reason why again, I said again, because I'm not going back into detail, because I just want to talk about this, because I want to get to the thing. I'm not saying what thing, just in case you haven't watched the episode. If you haven't watched the episode, why are you even going in this far? Just actually watch the episode. It's on YouTube. You don't even need Disney+. Plus. And, you're, and you obviously have YouTube, because you're watching this video. But, uh... Hunter's eyes glow blue. That doesn't mean anything at all, though. After this scene, Camila picks up Luce's computer and accidentally opens it, and all these, like, videos start playing. Uh, Luce explains what's going on in her life. Like, for example, they moved houses. Camila uh, claims because it looked better, but she thinks because the hospital closer. Uh, Luce talks about the week is horrible. And she's crying, and her Manny slash her dad left her the book, and she's gonna read it. She loved it. Uh, she's literally hugging it, as you can see. She's talking about the sword, and she's saying she's gonna cut her hair with it, which isn't a good idea. And then it wasn't a good idea, and she regrets it. And then she's this is like season one, episode zero. She's literally talking about this is like before she goes into the boiling aisles. And she says her stitching has gotten better, and things, and mom tells her. He's to get better at doing things, and she can read it in, like, five different dialogues. Then, as soon as Camila thinks it's about to be done, and she can sit really still where things uh, can land on her head. But, 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 when Camila thinks the videos are done, she's about to close her laptop. That When she's about to close Luce's laptop, BAM! Another video plays she has the uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson eyebrow raise and says and she watches the video Luce says how she's not going to the boiling aisles when they get the portal door and then they enter where the Rubus led 
uh, Lou's heading over to find Hunter doing things. He's saying really sketchily. He rubs up the ribbon and he says, uh, Why don't you go find the Titan's blood? Uh, well, I go find my palisman. Little guy got scared off. And then, and, uh, Luce said, as Bella's here before all that, and, like, oh, nothing, my mind is playing tricks on me again. Have you found the Titan blood yet? And then Luce is like, I'm on it. And then, it's like, Flapjack? And then, but then Hunter grows these freaking horns from the sides of his head, bro. Bellows has Hunter. It's confirmed. The leaks, I'm sorry, guys, but those leaks were true. If you saw them, that's really unlucky, bro. I'm actually sorry for you if you saw them. We, She's talking, and she's like... And then the animation gets smoother later on. And she goes for it, dodging... And Flapjack comes, and then he she gets the Titan's blood, which it was real, apparently, next to the moon, and then Ice Cliff's next to the lake. Then you can hear them, I think, talking in the distance. She's using all this magic on it. And then Hunter's like, we can fulfill our duty as witch hunters later. And then on, and then she clearly looks at all of her friends and says, you helped me meet the collector, loose. And then, it's literally the thing that sh had stress on her for the entire session season. Uh, she got mad and, like, was sad. And then, she said, I was trying to help! And then, he did help, Luz. And Bellis is like, I thought this was a lost cause. And then, the witch hunter thing I said comes up. And then, she says, starting with them. Then, they get into this epic fight. I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. It was really, I just really love this episode. They get into this epic fight. I guess it's like, remember me, Bellos? And then Willow goes in. V, as we know, I forgot how you do. I'm just gonna say Bishop. Uh, tries sucking up his powers, and gets hit off. Uh, then Amity goes in for a swing, and then goes in. Flapjack turns into it, and Lucy says Hunter's move. So yeah, that's interesting. Uh, then they all fight. Boom! Luce gets thrown, saved by Amity's little gray goop, which it's usually purple. And then Flapjack goes and thinks. Then Hunter grabs well, Hunter Bellows. And then when Hunter kills Flapjack, he's like, bye, Evelyn. Which, if you don't remember, Evelyn's the witch. Evelyn's that witch. So that's not important or anything. Then Hunter gets back in control and punches Bellows. He punches him. And then, uh,. It's so, like, you know what I want, Bellos? I want to attend Hexide as a normal student. I am leaving that first cup, and then I never want to step foot that through one again. I want to play Fire Derby with my friends! <laughs> also, he wants his PS5 back. And he also wants to make sure he doesn't hurt anybody again. So he grabs the Titan's blood... And throws it um, just straight in the ocean. Chucks it and then Bellos is like, no! Dives in. And drowns. Then Camilla goes diving in. Loses mom. And saves Hunter! My, my god, bro. Like, actually did something good. Then uh, Luz accidentally spills the tea. Luz spills the tea, sis. But first, Bellos leaves Hunter, and then set, and then has, and then he he's like, "You would betray me, Caleb." And then he's like, "No, you didn't do him first. And then he smashes it there. Titan's blood opens up the portal door for this all to happen. And Bellos is gonna leave, going back to the Boiling Isles. Oh, Flapjack bleeding out, and he says, This is for the gut of your souls. You'll thank me later. And then goes in to never be seen again. Oh, yeah, and then now Lou spills the tea. It's like, Will, will Doc just know about possession, Will? And, says, and then Lou says, Or Grimwalkers? Possession? Grimwalkers? 
And then Flapjack flies on to hunt his heart. Kisses him will give him one last knowledge. And dying on Hunter's heart. All the magic of Hunter is gone. Flapjack is going into Hunter now. Healing Hunter. His eyes turn from purple to brown as Flapjack is with him. And he says, is everyone okay? And Gus is like, well, Flap, don't. I know. He's there. And then Luz cries, heading towards the portal. Amity's like, hey, what's that thing about the collector thing fake? And then Luz is like, no, it wasn't. I did. Because I thought I was doing something. Right. And then Amity's like, why didn't you tell us? And I was like, I was scared. I didn't, I thought you would all hate me. And I thought I was doing something right and stuff like that. And the scene is really emotional. I, I, I'm still sad. I actually cried when Flapjack died. So, then, Luz's mom is a literal legend. Saving Hunter's life, a fan favorite. And then she's like, it would be my best interest if you took your mother to the boiling aisles. And he was like, what? And, uh, Amity completely reacts normally, and blah, blah, blah. They talk it out, saying, I want to spend the rest. And now Camila knows what they're up against, blah, blah, blah. That happens. And, yeah. Yeah, Hunter is like, he, Bellos just tricks people. That's all he does. So, and yeah, if it wasn't you, it'd be someone else and stuff. And he says, for Flapjack. Which honestly, I thought that was pretty cool and cute. <laughs> then they all say the goodbyes to the human realm. And I'm coming for you, Flap. Hunter says, just before entering. Gus says, bye, human realm. You've been nice. Hope to come back soon. Will basically says the same exact words. Locking in. Amity says, it would be cool if you were, if, for the future, if you were in it. And stuff like that. So, Amity heads back in to the boiling Isles, holding Luce's hand, giving her a kiss on the cheek, and heads in the portal, and says goodbye in her head. Then, Camila, Luce, and V is left, and Camila asks if they're coming, and V says, well, someone has to man the house, and then Camila gives her a list of things left to do, and say, and says she loves V, gives her a pat, scratch on the head. Then they're about, Luz and Camilla are about to go in, They and then Camilla says before they go in, a good witch always has to have the hat. Luz goes to the hat, picks it up, puts it on. And then they hold hands and walk in to the boiling aisles for the last time. Anyways, that was, that was this breakdown. Bye.